Homemade apple chips are nutritious, full of fiber, and most importantly, delicious. They are also really easy to make. One large apple makes about 25 chips depending on how thin you slice them. We had a variety of apples, so we decided to make a large batch. You can use a mandolin slicer, a handheld slicer, or for a thicker chip, you can use your food processor. Core your apples before slicing. Flavor your apples however you'd like. We chose to use two tablespoons of light brown sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. Don't be afraid to get creative. With the fall season here, pumpkin pie spice is another great option. Preheat your oven to 225 degrees. Mix the sugar and cinnamon in a shallow bowl and dip the apple slices in the mixture so they have a nice coating on them. Line your baking sheet with parchment paper. Lay the slices on your covered baking sheet. Bake for one hour. Remove the pan from the oven and flip the apple slices using tongs. By this time, your house will smell amazing. Place the pans back in the oven for one more hour. The apple slices will harden pretty quickly. Allow them to cool and enjoy. The thinner you slice your chips, the crispier they'll be. We chose to make a thicker chip that is more toddler friendly. Sweet potato chips are just as easy and don't take quite as long to bake. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. After slicing, drop the sweet potatoes into a bowl with enough cold water to cover them. Add one teaspoon of salt and soak for five minutes. Remove from the water and allow them to dry. Feel free to add cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice to these too if you prefer. Spray a baking pan with non-stick cooking spray. Place the potato slices in the pan and spray the potatoes on all sides. Bake for 20 to 25 minutes, turning once halfway through. Allow them to cool and serve. We enjoyed ours with our homemade ketchup. In case you missed it, check out our homemade applesauce recipe to use up some of those fun fall apples.